This is Bruce Benson of the Na Manu Nature Reserve. And Bruce, given the name of this place, I thought we'd be seeing birds, but that doesn't look much like a bird to me. What do you have to do with Tuatara? Yeah, we're part of the Tuatara Recovery Program, and um, it's a joint program with Victoria University, Department of Conservation, uh, Ngāti Kauata, the local iwi um, for Stevens Island, and ourselves here at Na Manu Trust. The program starts with the eggs are recovered, incubated at Victoria University, and the young tuatara are brought to us when they're about one year old, and uh, we head start the tuatara. It takes about five or six years to get them to this size, and then um, they're released onto predator-free islands. Tuatara actually do need all the help they can get. They don't cope well with predators. They have to live on predator-free islands. What sorts of things do we have to do to look after them? Well, when the tuatara come to us, we set up individual pens that hold about five or six tuatara per pen. And basically, we've just got to keep, keep them fed, watered, and give them access to a bit of natural habitat. They learn to dig their own burrows. They, they learn to find a food dish and they learn to find a water dish. Um, but every year, unfortunately, because each of them is identified, we've got to uh, find each one of them and record all their statistics, weigh and measure them. And that way we keep a health record of them right through to release. And that same health record continues while they're out on the island every few years. Um, research has been done to make sure they're still in good health. You're almost like Plunkett for Tuatara, really, aren't you, yeah. with your birth records? <laughs> yeah, I often refer to them as their Plunkett book, and you're quite right. Um, but it's important to know that what we're doing is correct and that um, we're giving them every opportunity to be in good health and, and, and good condition for release onto the islands. And how many species are there? Because they are found on a couple of different islands and they do breed in the wild yeah. there, aren't they? That's correct. We've got the um, Stevens Island Tuatara and the Brothers Island Tuatara. On the Brothers Island there's an estimated population of about 450 Tuatara of the Brothers Island variety and of that we've raised 150 here, of, here at Namanu for release onto offshore islands. So we've been involved in recovery of one third of the, po the total population of the Brothers Island Tuatara which is really great to be involved in. Absolutely, it must make you very proud and I have to say that having had a look around here at Namanu, it's not just Tuatara that they have recovery programs for and are releasing back to the wild, it's a whole range of animals, Pātiki which is brown teal, Kaka, Kākāriki, Kia, Blue Duck, so um, well done and keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks Nikki. <laughs> no worries. Thank you.